bitch is probably gonna kick us out. But... <laughs> okay. Oops. Take two. Take, take two. <laughs> Hundred. <laughs> I used to always worry about what people thought of me and would try so hard to live by society standards. Then I realized that I was created to be different and regardless of what I did, I would never fit in. So I decided to follow my dreams instead. Join me on this journey as I grow in my faith, go through the ups and downs of pharmacy school, and most importantly, being God's masterpiece. So I have my roommate with me. This is Rebecca. Hi. <laughs> and she is going to be talking about her experience in getting her master's in pharmaceutical sciences. So for those of you who were interested in getting your master's in pharmacy of some sort, or if you didn't even know that was something to do, she's going to give you some insight to that. So pharmaceutical science is the difference, I guess, just in case people don't really know. Um, so like pharmacy is more like drug dispensing, I guess you would say, whereas my major is um, drug research and development. So again, like from the beginning at least, I wanted, knew I wanted to work in a lab doing research. Um, so I didn't really think that was possible with a PharmD, but, but it really is. You, yeah. You can, even when I'm looking for jobs to apply to now, like it'll be like, Oh, like, you know, some type of science master's degree or a PhD in whatever or PharmD. I basically only had the options between doing my PharmD in pharmacy or my bachelor's at the time is what I was considering um, in pharmaceutical sciences. Um, so honestly, I didn't really know much about pharmacy and didn't really care to like yeah. look into it. A lot of people don't. A lot of people really don't. Um, I guess I just thought that the concept of like being a pharmacist seemed boring. Um, but I always loved science and my aunt worked for a pharmaceutical company so that's how I got interested in pharmaceutical sciences. So I came here in undergrad and all my friends were pharmacy majors so I kind of um, gained an interest in it actually and ended up working as a pharmacy technician and as a compounding technician in a pharmacy. Um, I forget how long ago that was. Last summer. Yeah, last summer. Um, so there was a point where I was considering, instead of doing my master's in pharmaceutical sciences, actually transferring into the pharmacy program. Um, but I felt like my experience at working at a pharmacy kind of deterred me from wanting to pursue that. Yeah, I can do that. <laughs> <laughs> Um, even though I loved compounding, it was just all the drama within, I guess, like the pharmacy industry that deterred me. I had already accumulated a decent amount of student loan debt by the time I was debating whether or not I wanted to do my master's or do the extra um, three years for pharmacy. Uh, so, I mean, I got lucky because at my school they do, actually a lot of schools though, a lot of schools do um, three plus two programs. Oh, yeah. So I'm getting my bachelor's and my master's in five years, but I know it's like super common nowadays. So you could even, you know, do the same type of jobs that I'm going to be applying for with your farm date, but for a lot less money. <laughs> In my field anyway, like in research in general, a lot of people who have PharmDs or have PhDs, you really won't get paid more than someone with their master's. You're like overqualified with your PhD or your PharmD. Companies don't want to pay you more yeah. when, when realistically um, you could kind of do the same thing with your master's. Yeah, I've been doing research since I was a sophomore, so I kind of knew that's what I wanted to do and what I love to do and I still love to do, so. Yeah. But, but some people don't. Some people, um, <laughs> even our other roommate, she, she does research and um, she's up, up the pharmacy program. You know, I kind of chose this field knowing that it was really diverse and kind of knowing that I wasn't 100% sure what I would want to do when I graduated. <laughs> I just want to be in a lab. So, so I am yeah. somewhat interested in the pharmaceutical industry. So working for a pharmaceutical company, um, like as a lab scientist, um, 
but there's also also really cool jobs in public health and um, that type of research, which I'm also interested in. Um, and even with my degree, you can get a job in public health. You could get a job with with state health departments. Um, you get a job at pharmaceutical companies. You could get a job at you know cancer research facilities or um, you know molecular biology labs, yeah. stuff like that. So I mean, there's just so many options. Um, and as I'm like looking into jobs, I'm realizing there's like unlimited options for for this degree, which I'm grateful for because. The more jobs you can apply to, the better. <laughs> yeah, she would literally sit on her laptop and apply to like a hundred jobs. Didn't she even do that once? Yeah, but that was just for part-time jobs. But but yes, that's dedication. Cause after one application, I'm like, Whoo! all right, I'm done. So on to the next thing. To somebody who might be interested in this and maybe you've never even heard of this degree because <laughs> not, <laughs> not everybody has, but maybe this will spark your interest. And, and, and I honestly, I think it's, a, and it's amazing. It, not just me, you can probably Google it, but <laughs> it's an amazing field to get into. It really mm -hmm. is like anyone who's just starting to look into things or you're already in college. Like if research is something interesting to you um, or maybe you're not sure, you might as well try it out. Like just, yeah. I'm sure whatever schools you go to have some type of labs you can even just shadow or, mm -hmm. you know, try and work in for a little bit. And you, and you never know because I really honestly wouldn't have known until yeah. I started working in a lab. I would recommend to look into different schools who have the program and talk to the advisors for that school because they know so much more information um, and can provide even more information than there were website has to offer. I think a lot of people have this conception that just any grad school in general is like just super difficult mm -hmm. or you know maybe you're thinking like can I really get my PharmD degree like is it going to be too hard I mean I can honestly say that I have a much easier time in my graduate program <laughs> compared to pharmacy. I mean, our undergrad was, was about the same, but mm -hmm. um, now that I'm in the graduate level, it's really just research. Like I, I'm really just in the lab. I take a couple of classes. Um, so it's a lot less course-based and a lot more research-based, if that's what's what your concern yeah. is maybe on, on swaying your decision. Um, because I personally, like, I admire Denisia so much. I admire all my roommates, you know, who who are pushing through and doing it, and and it's a lot. And and you know, you have your rotations on, on the summers and your last year's all rotations, yeah. and you really sacrifice a lot to get that degree. And to me, to me, it just wasn't worth it. Those sacrifices, like I just would not want to work for free for a whole year doing my rotation. <laughs> <laughs> Or, you know, I mean, Denise is amazing. She she works and does her rotations, but but that's that's a hard for a lot of people. And, you know, so a lot of people don't do that. And, and their summers are just their rotations and they're making no money. And that's just not the type of person I, I am. Yeah, um, whereas- Always working though. <laughs> always work. You have three jobs or two jobs. Three, three jobs, basically. I can though. I can have so many jobs. <laughs> I, I have time for three jobs. Eighty so, yeah. percent of yeah. of the students they they don't work, and yeah. um and I don't blame them because it's just so much coursework and so much studying. Whereas you know yeah. I I work twenty plus hours a week during school. I mean now summer, but um so it really allows for you to have some freedom. So y'all already know the deal. You can comment below or you can email me at behismasterpiece at gmail.com. If you have any questions for Rebecca, I will refer them over to her and she'll make sure they get an answer for you. I want y'all to go out, be kind, be caring, be loving. And as always, be his masterpiece. <laughs>